Last case six says Sammy wants a chart to show the cost of each type of shirt. Okay, create chart. It must have a suitable title and access labels. It must be fit for purpose and should also be saved on a separate sheet. Okay, so let's remind ourselves he wants a, sh a chart to show the cost of each type of shirt. So when you come to the charts, uh, you come to the shirts worksheet, you have the cost of each shirt. Uh, so he wants to show the cost of each type of shirt. Uh, so we have the cost column over here. Uh, just putting this information on the chart alone is not enough. We also have to uh, show. I mean, you need, we need to either give the shirt code or we need, we need to show the description. I think description is more meaningful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the description column and the cost column. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to insert and then you can either ask the computer to recommend a good chart for you or else if you have a good chart in mind, what you can do is you can simply come here to a column chart maybe. Something like this makes your data understandable. Okay, so it shows each shirt and the cost of each shirt. Okay, so then do not forget it should have a suitable title and access label. So what we can say is uh, cost of shirts. We can say over here. And then do not forget to add access labels. We have the X axis and the Y axis over here. So you can click on this plus symbol over here and you can say you want access titles to be there. Do not forget to say this is the price and sorry, price, and this is displayed in dollar, and this is a description of the shirt. Description of, oh, we can just say shirt description, shirt description. Okay, so that's done as well, and if you would like to make it more fit for the purpose, you could bold this, you could uh, underline it. And then if you also like, you can also have labels, data labels to show the exact value for each uh, column and then it also goes on to say it should be fit for purpose and it should be saved on a separate sheet so then what we do is we're supposed to right click over here and say move chart move chart to a separate worksheet say okay so now over here you can see a separate this was your worksheet for sales and this is your worksheet for your chart and then if you come back it says uh, enter task ss6 your name candidate number and number in the uh, foot of the chart so we come to insert and we come to text header and footer and we come to custom footer and we type over here task ss6 your name and the date number center number and say okay okay so right now over here your footer is not visible but do not worry when you come to print preview you can see your footer would be visible over there then it goes on to say uh, resave the spreadsheet uh, so we resave it and then it goes on to say print the chart to fill one side of A4, it should be landscape. So when going to print it, what you're going to do is you're going to come to print and uh, it's already in landscape orientation. Okay, just make sure that option is ticked and then you're good to go for printing.